Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Life with Marian and Joe. Thanks so much for stopping by today. If you just stumbled on me, my name is Joe and we do a lot of seasonal decorating and gardening and cooking and whatnot here on our channel. So if you like that kind of thing, hopefully you'll think about subscribing and give me, giving me a thumbs up on my video. In today's video, we're going to be doing an old-fashioned decorating of a china closet or a china hutch. You don't know what that is? <laughs> That's a piece of furniture that has fallen out of favor right now. A lot of people don't have one because I don't think a lot of people actually get a really good china anymore. Uh, but we still have ours and um, until we get a new dining room set, we you know, uh, use the china closet in a variety of different ways. I thought it would be interesting for me to show you how my mother would have decorated this china closet. This is uh, my, my parents' china, and um, I thought it was an appropriate uh, thing to do with it. Um, and um, I, I mean, I might have tweaked it a little bit differently than she would have did, but it's on the order of how she would have uh, did this. This is a, a set of china that uh, she got in uh, from uh, as a present in 1969 when they had built uh, their first uh, beach house that they had. Not the one that we have now, but another beach house that they had. And uh, they were given this gift of the china. So I'm going to be using that china in this, uh, in an old fashioned arrangement. I hope you'll enjoy it. Let me know what you think. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing china into this piece of furniture, which is called a china closet or china hutch. Now I know that many people no longer have these, but we still do have one. And um, I'm going to show you how we're going to decorate it for the uh, end of spring and as well as the summer in an old fashioned style. Now, what's going to go in here is what we call China. And China is a fine dinnerware set that um, many people would uh, get when they first got married. A lot of times on their registry, they, you know, ask for pieces to, you know, uh, if they couldn't afford them on their own to get this fine dinnerware. Now, I, I don't think that that's much in style anymore. I know a lot of people do not get um, china because they find it useless and that it just takes up space, which is true because a lot of times people never eat on their china because they think Oh, I can't eat on it because it was too expensive and it's too good. But little hint, if you do have your china, eat on it because well, who's going to eat on it? What's going to happen? And probably somebody's just going to back up a dump truck and throw it out when, when you're no longer here. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be using a china set that was given to my parents um, by someone in 1969. Uh, it was given to them as a gift, and it was a very nice gift. It's a service for 12, actually. I'm not going to be using all the pieces, but I'm going to be using a lot of them in here. Okay, so as you can see, back here, there is a little groove that they've put into the wood on this shelf and the one above, and that is to hold the plates against. Now, um, I'm not fully sure if I'm going to use this because I always worry that it's going to come out and it's going to fall. So I've been using, you know, plate stands, but I'm going to try it again. My plan is to, I think what I'm going to do is put one, two, three, four plates here, and then one on each and on this side over here, one up here, one here, and one here. But I think before I do that, I'm going to put a large platter right here because I want to put the soup terrine in front of it. And here is the china. It is called, um, I'm going to insert it in because it's hard for me to see, for you to see on there. So you see it said fine bohemian china made in Czechoslovakia and the name of this china is wildflower. So you can see it has a lot of silver tones in it here 
and very, very, very pale, like a pinkish kind of a color. And then it has the flowers around the edge, and then it has this silver uh, edging to it. Um, so, and there are a lot, a lot of pieces to it. So this is the piece that I think I'm gonna try to put in the center behind the soup tureen. All right, so you have to go with the flow. It doesn't fit on this shelf, and these are not movable shelves. So what I did was I put it on the shelf below, and I used one of these stands right here. Now notice I'm gonna, the flower is pointing up, and that's how I'm gonna do every single plate, exactly the same way, all right? So we have the double down in here, and then the flower pointing up. So there's my starting point. Now on this shelf, what I've chosen to do is, I remember that one is down there, and so here I have a platter, and I put it on a plate stand because it doesn't stand up right in there, it'll fall forward. So um, again, flowers pointing up, and it is set in place. And next I'm gonna put the soup tureen in front of that. Now, this is a soup tureen, but it could also be used for you know anything that you wanted to keep covered, like some kind of veggies or something like that. But, um, Anyway, it, wasn't, it isn't as big as the one, if you caught my last video, that my sister-in-law gave us. That was a large one, and that was a more classical uh, soup tureen, but it wasn't fine china. This is a fine, more delicate look. So here we go. I'm going to put this and layer that right in front there. All right, so on the bottom shelf, the next thing in will be this bowl right here. This is a larger bowl, and you know you could put a variety of things in here. And again, I'm just gonna put it here. I was thinking of doing this, but I'm not going to because remember I'm doing it like my mother would do it and she wouldn't have done that. So here it is, flower up again so that the flowers are in line. So, and what's good is on the bottom shelf so you'll be able to see it if you look into the china closet. Okay, so then the next thing is gonna be this shelf up here. Now, I remember that my mother had right in the back over there the top of her wedding cake. I, I mean, not the cake itself, you know, the, the bride and the groom with the little lacy thing. It was kind of like in a heart. In fact, I still have it, but uh, I'm not going to put it in there, but that's where she had that. So I'm going to put something there, you know, that is more representative of Marianne and myself. I do have ours too, but I'm not going to put that one there. I'm going to put something else there. So I'm putting this beautiful candle up there, which we had at our wedding. It says, this day I marry my friend, the one I laugh with, live for, dream with, and love. And I'm going to put this back here because it gives some height up there. And it's representative of the same kind of thing that my mother had up there. And I forgot to mention that, you know, these china closets were also very representative of special treasures that people had. It wasn't decorated so much in the, remember, I'm doing it in an old-fashioned way. In a more modern sense, you would have, you know, different kind of objects in here. You might, you know, I, I don't know, there's a whole plethora of things you could add, but we're keeping it in an old-fashioned vein, right? So the next thing that I'm going to put in here is the gravy boat to this, um, set. And there you go. I put the gravy boat in here. I think the next thing in is going to be the milk pitcher, pitcher and the uh, sugar bowl. So as you can see, I put the sugar bowl right here and I put the milk pitcher right there. So I have that going on on that top shelf. All right, so now here's the dinner plate and I'm going to put um, one on each one on each side of that candle that's up on the top there. Now they, like I told you before, there's a groove up there and that's how my mother had it in her china closet. But I'm a little bit nervous here. I, there is that groove, but I just feel like it's not sufficiently deep enough to hold the uh, plate. So I'm gonna put uh, my plates on a, uh, a little stand. All right, so as you can see, I put a plate behind each of the, the uh, pitcher and the, uh, the sugar bowl. And I think I'm going to do that same thing here. I think I'm gonna try it. Let me see how it looks. Okay, so down here, I put these two plates slightly in the front of that plate in here. So it gives it more of a layered look. Now, really, my mother probably wouldn't have done that. She probably would have had the plate straight in the back and in a row, but 
I'm going to put a little bit of a twist on it. I know she wouldn't mind. All right, so next thing I'm going to put these two champagne glasses and it has our names on them, Marianne and Joseph. These were at our place setting at the reception. And remember, because this is memories here, and so I'm going to put, that's Marianne's over there, and mine is over there. All right, so I put another plate there. I'm at the top shelf, as you can see, and another plate there. Okay, so that's the top shelf. I put one on the second shelf and I put one down on the bottom shelf, and I did the same thing on the other side. One, one, and one. All right, next in, I have these pasta dishes here. I'm only gonna put two of them in though, just two. Okay, so you can see I put one over there and one over there. Now, really, in reality, a real old-fashioned china closet would have had the pasta dishes just all stacked up. <laughs> You know, like on, on, you know, maybe on, this is a service for 12, so it would have been, you know, six plate and six, but um, I, I, you know, I just don't want to do that. So I'm, I'm going to put two on display that we have them, but I'm not going to stack them. But if you, you know, trying to create an old fashioned china closet, that is something you could definitely do. Next in, I'm going to use just two of these. Um, this would be kind of like for little like an appetizer, maybe a little bit of fruit salad in there or something like that. I think that's what my mother would have used them for, but I don't really know what somebody else would use them for. But anyway, so there and there, I, I put two of those in and I think that's enough for those. Okay, so just to add a little bit more presence to those um, little fruit uh, bowl dishes that I said, I have, I have these, this is actually a cake dish. So I'm gonna put the little fruit uh, dish on top of the cake plate. And then we have an antipasto plate too that's in between the big plate and this plate is another, there's another one, at, but I don't have any room for that. So let's see, I'm going to put this, working with one hand here, because I'm holding the camera. Okay, I'm going to put this, it just gives it a little bit more presence and make sure I fix the flour. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So there you go. So that's what that looks like. And then down the side, I'm staggering the coffee cup on the uh, little uh, plate there. Okay. And then I put this one on this side and then this one over there. And then I'm going to echo it uh, mirror image on the other side. That's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed that uh, old fashioned decorating of a china closet. And um, I will be seeing you really soon with something. Um, I have a lot of things. I, I deconstructed all my Easter stuff. So I, I have a lot of things to straighten out and I'm going to share it with you. Okay, everybody, you have a good day, good night or whatever. And I will be seeing you really soon. Bye bye. Oh, don't forget to join us on Facebook, a private Facebook group, which is Life with Marianne and Joe. Okay, everybody, take care. Bye bye.